Hey, okay, we're back. We have our joint structure set up. Uh, and now the next thing that we want to do is actually start setting up our controls. The way that I've done this in the other tutorials that I've done so far is just using NURBS curves to create very simple controls. But for this, we're going to need to have something a little more distinctive. Uh, and instead of actually going through and making all these controls ourselves, what I recommend checking out is actually a plugin that you can get called KK Controllers. This is a free script that you can get, uh, which if you go to Creative Crash, uh, you can get it free from there. So uh, it'll have instructions on how to install it, so you can always uh, check those. But all I need to do now is type in KK underscore controllers, and it'll bring up this window here. OK, great. So what I want to do is start creating some controllers that I will use to manipulate the rig. So to start off with, I'm going to create a box. Now, this box, I'm going to hold down the V key to allow me to snap to a vertex, or in this case, the, um, the hip joint here. And I'm just going to go to my scale tool and make that a little bit bigger. I'm going to duplicate that back to my move tool, and I'm just going to place a couple of these where I think I'll need them. Uh, duplicate again, hold down V and snap to the head. Uh, and I think I'll use these down at the wrists. Control D to duplicate, V to snap and just middle mouse. Okay, great. So these are the basic uh, boxes that I want to set up. I'll just scale this down a bit. Now, if I hit spacebar, and go into my side view, I can actually right click and go into control vertex and start shaping these to make them look a little more useful. If you hit F8, then you won't have any troubles uh, with accidentally selecting joints. So I'm just going to come down and give this a nice sort of shape that encompasses the hand. Okay, great. It's looking nice. And we'll go up and we'll click on head controller. And we'll do the same thing here. We're just going to frame up the head nicely. OK, and we'll come down and do the shoulders. Now, you can make these as complicated or simple as you like. It's just going to be, uh, just make it easier to find and click on, because these are the controls that are going to be used to move the rig around. So I'm just going to quickly set up this last one here. OK, great. And if we go into our uh, perspective view, we can marquee select a couple of these and shrink them in. I'm going to make this hole a bit wider. And here I'm going to shrink these down, just make them a little skinnier, uh, and even more so at the top, just to give these a bit of a nice shape, make them look a little more presentable. And if you can closely match them to the geometry that they move, then that's going to be easier to read as well. OK, great. So we've got a couple of those controls. But of course, we're going to need, I'm going to hit F8 to get out of component mode. Of course, we're going to need some controls for other parts of the body as well. So I'm going to minimize that to get rid of the glitch. So now we want to be setting up a control of the foot. Now here we've got all these great little uh, NURBS curves that we can use that are all pre-made. So I'm going to click on this one that looks sort of like a foot. And as you can see, we get a little curve that looks kind of like a slipper. So we're just going to scale that up and deform it a little till it looks like it's snugly fitting our Boxosaurus. 
Okay, great, that looks about the right size. And also we want to put in some intermediate controllers for the neck, body and tail, but we're just going to do that with a normal NURB circle here. So I'll drag that out. And again, I'm going to hold down V and middle mouse click and snap to that joint there. Rotate it on its side. I'll keep this nice and neat and change that to 90. And just scale that a little bit larger. I'll shrink in the sides to keep it neat. Duplicate that and go into our transform V and snap. Might actually move this up a little bit. And we'll create another one for the neck. Uh, we want this to be at zero. And just rotate that till it's in the right sort of position. And you just bring those in a bit till it matches the geometry. I'm going to duplicate, go back to my transform tool and create some more controllers on the tail. Uh, just duplicating and snapping these to the different places. Zero that out. Okay, and I'm just going to resize these to make them look like they're following the contours of the tail. Okay, great. So we've almost got all of our joints set up. Uh, what I'm going to actually do is set in some more for the arms. So, uh, but I'm going to do these a little differently. So I'm going to come back and show you those in the next tutorial.